We've also spoken to local lawmakers about how they feel about Vice President Harris potentially being the new Democratic nominee. Dan Snyder is speaking with Democrats, many of whom are throwing their support behind Vice President Harris. And our Joe Holden is in Bucks County, also getting reaction from supporters of former President Trump. Heard me say it before, but I'll say President it. Biden exiting the race at this point is absolutely historic. With just over 100 days until Election Day, President Joe Biden announced he would end his bid to stay in the White House. Despite weeks of pressure by Democrats for Biden to drop out of the race, his decision Sunday left many in our area shocked. But it's a move lawmakers say they support. That's good enough for Joe Biden. It's good enough for me. It's heartbreaking in that sense, but I think he understood that the time was right to pass that torch. Biden hopes to pass the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris, quickly endorsing his running mate to lead the party. Harris has since earned the backing of many top Democrats, including Congressman Boyle and Norcross. Lawmakers and local delegates to the Democratic National Convention say they believe Harris can bring new energy to the campaign. I do feel like the ground is, you know, mobilized, um, extremely excited. Supporters pointed to Harris's record as a prosecutor, her stance on reproductive rights, and the three and a half years she spent by Biden's side as strengths the VP can bring to a campaign. But endorsements alone won't give Harris the nomination. People we spoke with made clear Harris will have to earn the spot at the top of the ticket. If she has to make her case. This is not an anointment. We have delegates that were elected that are there to do their job. She has to still earn the nomination. Um, she still has to, you know, talk to the delegates, talk to the leaders of parties in different states. And that process is already underway. Just before 3 p.m. Monday, Pennsylvania's delegation to the DNC endorsed Harris for president in what they call a unanimous decision. While Harris has plenty more delegates to lock up, Democrats I spoke with believe she will be the nominee. I think that it is highly unlikely that Kamala Harris faces any sort of serious challenge at the convention. Dan Snyder, CBS News, Philadelphia. I'm Joe Holden on your corner in Doylestown, where Donald Trump supporters tell us yesterday's news about Joe Biden has energized their base. Plus, we have new data. In the last several months, Republicans have added more than 3,000 new registrations. That pushes that party into the majority in Bucks County. New numbers are in. CBS News Philadelphia uncovering Republicans have built back strength in this suburban, rural Philadelphia county, pushing their party into the majority by thousands of new registrations since just February. Ed Shepard is with the Republican committee in Doylestown. I've been getting requests from people. They want a door knock. They, they want to they want to stuff envelopes. They want to make phone calls. Shepard and his fellow supporters held a rally on Saturday demonstrating along a roadside. We've seen Republicans just come together. We had a rally for uh, for President Trump on, on Saturday after the assassination attempt. Over 125 people came out to show their support for President Trump. Presidential election results for Bucks County show the last time a Republican candidate carried the county was in 1988. But people like Shepard think issues like inflation might motivate voters. Staples like uh, bread, poultry, flour, beef, they've gone up over 40%. Uh, people can't afford to eat. They can't afford to feed their kids. Meanwhile, Mark Jordan, a retired Philadelphia police officer and Trump supporter, said he was surprised President Biden dropped out. He thinks that will end up helping Democrats' chances. I think it has energized them. Um, I think the Democrats probably feel that's the right move, though. So I can't say. I think it's going to be a tight race, in all honesty. And while there's nothing on the calendar, local Republican leaders tell me they would be shocked if the Trump campaign did not put a stop here in Bucks County while campaigning. In Doylestown, Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia.